Eagle Cycle Levi's. So that was an idea I came up with and pitched to Coca-Cola, and now it's a real thing. Or sometimes my ideas are songs to, you know, pitch to other bands or political candidates. I just like thinking and coming up with ideas and uh, coming up with uh, ways for people to, you know, jump over hurdles or go through obstacles. And you were the uh, director of creative innovation at Intel, right? And also, you're the creative chief creative officer of 3D Systems. Yeah. So 3D Systems, Systems is, is current, and um, that turned into EcoCycle 3D printers. So now we have an EcoCycle 3D printer that prints in post-consumer plastics, uh, and we gifted those uh, 3D print some of those printers to first robotics teams, so kids can build robots and come up with parts with their 3D printers. So getting kids that are, you know, 12 years old, coding and catting and building robots. So the kids in my ghetto that I come from are now rocking with 3D printers and building robots and coding and stuff like that. Instead of being in the, you know, hanging in the streets and doing knucklehead stuff. So it seems that a lot of celebrities now are kind of focusing on STEM, particularly so celebrities from diverse backgrounds. So at the Dublin Web Summit recently, Ava Longoria, she was there and she was also kind of promoting STEM, particularly for Hispanic women. Do you think that this is a new trend of celebrities supporting STEM, uh, particularly if they come from traditionally disadvantaged backgrounds or women, etc.? Well, first, when you say celebrities and you only point out one, we need more. So Ava Longoria is like my twin. Literally, we're born the same day, the same year, a couple of freaking minutes away from each other. <laughs> so why are we the only two celebrities that are talking about STEM? Um, I think it has something to do with just being awesome.